going on everybody? Uh, today I figured we would take a shot at some product photography uh, with throwing water at it, do some splash product photography. Uh, saw a video from Carl Taylor uh, that was talking about it. And, you know, splash photography is not a, a new idea. It's been done over and over again. And it's pretty cool to see. So I figured, you know, we'd take a shot at it and uh, I'd bring you guys along and uh, you guys can see my thought process and how I set um, the scene up. I'm sure there's probably 15 different ways to do it, but this is how I'm going to do it. Um, you'll see me do little tweaks here and there. So uh, no one's sponsoring me to do this. This, is, this company's not paying me to do a product uh, to shoot for them. I just, you know, I thought the colors of the blue and the red um, are pretty catchy, and I thought with you know, water splash on it, this would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good little bottle to, to throw some water at. So we're going to get things set up, and you can just kind of. I'm going to set it up kind of today like you're this watching from the side, so I'm not going to directly talk to the camera a whole lot uh, other than right now. So uh, let's throw some water at this thing. Alright, so as far as the setup goes, um, I'm sure there's fancier ways to do this, but this is what I have and this is what I'm going to make work. I just got it uh, elevated on some boxes. Um, setting this on here because my idea is after I get the shot is to go into Photoshop and um, remove this so it kind of looks like it's floating. Um, it would probably be cool to get it to tilt that way but I really don't have any means to do that right at this time. I guess I could get fishing. I don't know if I could take fishing on to it or not but that's going to be for another day. Today, it's going to be this way. It's going to kind of look like it's floating up in the air. Um, I haven't set this high because I don't know if you can see on the camera. Back behind it, I have a uh, strobe and a reflector uh, right now with a yellow gel. Um, the reason being is um, you have blue, like it's blue, green, and red um, of the bottle here. And I didn't want to do like a red or a bluish or green on the background because I figured it might make this blend in. Now I, I might do a lighter blue. We're going to take some shots and see. But right now, if we go on the color wheel, you know, red and blue, kind of green, are pretty much opposite each other, and then you have yellow over here, so I kind of wanted maybe another contrasting color. We'll see what it looks like, and maybe I'll, I'll change my mind, but for right now, that's what we're going to go. So it's stacked up this high because, basically, um, I don't have a stand that goes any lower than that, so I had to hide the stand out of the shot. I've got two uh, strobes and soft boxes on either side. Um, that's going to be adjusted. I don't know where their final positions are going to be yet, but right now I'm thinking straight in. So. Uh, we're going to take some test shots right now, and first with no strobe, um, I'm going to focus, I'm going to focus on the middle there, and um, I also got a remote trigger, so um, what I want to do first off is make sure that none of this light here is affecting the shot, and um, my screen is, is totally black, so um, that's what we want. So now the only light that's going to be in the shot is coming from the strobes. Okay, for right now I only have uh, the back strobe um, powered on because I want to see how it's going to light up on the white background. Um, look, what I have right now starting at 130 second power. Let me tell you. Um, that's to what to be at because everybody's equipment is a little bit different. So I'm going to see what that looks like. I'm probably going to have to raise it up a little bit, but I kind of like the halo effect that it's doing. If you can see, I'm just going to carry up the back. 
I like that halo and that's kind of what I'm gonna go for. looks pretty good for my background light I'm I'm happy with that all right so I'm happy with my background light there so now we're going to start adding in our strobes Exposure and um, light placement. See what I did is I kind of leveled this box off straight across with it, and then I brought this one up and down and at like a 45 degree angle um, with it. Uh, just for shits and giggles, we're going to try some uh, different colored gels and see what that looks like. I've already got everything dialed in how I want to go. I can't remember this. Just to see if I like. No, I like the boulder. I like the boulder color. I don't like that. The only other color I was thinking of considering is. Um, This is why you experiment, this is why you play, because um, I like that blue a lot better than that yellow. It's just, I don't know if they're signs, it's just, it's my, it's pleasing to my eye. Um, it's more pleasing than, than that. I thought it would be okay, uh, but I, I actually like that a lot better, I think that's, uh, at least that's my opinion. And it's like anything, it's art subjective. Some people might like the the yellow, but you know, it's this is my project and this is what I'm doing for fun, so we're going with blue. Okay, so I've got everything dialed in how I wanted it to be. Um, had I have a little more time, it's pretty late in the evening here, it's almost the kids' bedtime, it's almost my bedtime. Um, the only other thing I might have wanted to try as far as lighting was uh, just to rig up, put up a big diffusion panel, like a white sheet or, or something to fire these soft boxes through to diffuse the light a little bit more, which what it would do probably wouldn't have such hard um, highlights 
on the sides, but I'm okay with this for what I'm doing uh, tonight. Um, I mean, product photography, it's, it's a lot harder than people think it is, because I've been, oh, almost an hour just taking shots and tweaking little things before I'm even getting to the, uh, the milk and cookies of it all. So um, one thing I do want to do, I don't want to forget about doing, um, since I've got everything dialed in and everything stationary, you know, I can fire off picture after picture after picture, and it should all be the same on that. Um, it's actually moving a little bit with, I think that's why we have a remote trigger. So, yeah, there. Yep, so it's exactly the same. Even with me pressing the trigger, it moved it just ever so slightly. Alright, so what I'm going to do, um, I have a ring in my towel where the cup um, was. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything away. Focus is already locked in and all that. And I'm just going to take a shot of just the background because in the end I'm going to go into Photoshop that will be my base layer and then I'll just mask out this glass and it'll look like the, the bottles floating in the air so now I want to make sure that my composition is how I want it to be. I'm going to turn it just a little bit this way. See if I'm okay with that. I am. So now comes the fun part. Let me turn this. Ever so slightly a little bit more. A little bit more. Alright, I think I'm happy with with that. Good as we're going to get. Go back, I'm going to mark. background with stars so when I start editing I can find it real quick. Alright, now comes the fun part. Let's begin. So, you don't need a lot of water. We're just going to start with this a little bit. It's going to take lots of shots. This is what's going to make me nervous even though I got towels laid down and all that stuff. So, I'm going to briefly go over how um, I edited this shot here. Um, like I said before in the video, um, you've got to kind of prepare to uh, shoot for the edit in something like this. So basically what I did um, before we even started shooting, here's your plain background. Um, so I just went through all of these shots here. Um, you know and picked the ones that I liked the best and I ended up picking this one and this one here the best okay I like the splash there and that's almost good enough uh, for me but I also liked this huge splash up here 
and this water to run across so what I did was I selected this one and then I selected that one just hit control and then I went back and I selected plain background right click and you go to edit in open as layers in Photoshop and then you know wait for Photoshop to open all right so here we are in Photoshop I'm not gonna go into great detail um, because it took me a while but basically what I did was um, the biggest thing or one of the biggest things is you select all these three layers here you go to file or no mini edit uh, where is it auto align layers will come up and then you just um, align them that way it makes sure that your bottles lined up from layer to layer um, then what I did um, you've turned that layer off I created the layer mask you can see where just basically below I masked out um, the I masked out the the glass that it was sitting on um, I painstakingly went around all these bubbles now you could um, you know do a select tool but this was so complicated I just got in there and I zoomed in really close you know down to the pixel level and um, you know just got a hard round brush so my edge would be good um, and then uh, that's when I got my detail and then as I got further out I went to a soft round brush like um, 11 10 percent hardness and it kind of feathers out any little discrepancies like maybe little color hue differences um, or something I don't know what that was um, so that's all I did you can see my mask here and if you put it on you can see where I masked out different uh, stuff you know I worked this layer and um, you turn that layer off and I worked that layer to get rid of the um, glass and I turned this layer on and I did the mask and the biggest thing was you can turn your opacity of the top layer down which would reveal um, the layer below so then basically all I did was paint over on this mask here the splashes that I wanted to come in which was this here a little bit of spray there and all that and then I just clicked save and it um, sent it back to Lightroom and I exported it from there and you could always you know export it from here if you wish but uh, that's how I ended up with that file all right so my floor is soaked now um, we'll call it a night between all those shots, I've got a couple of cool splashes that I can work with in post. So uh, I'm going to download everything up and edit it, and you will see the final picture uh, right now. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're still here and you enjoyed this, uh, hit like and please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.